That's a percentage roughly where she wants. She's volleyed well, but that's one that missed the boat. that she doesn't go a breakdown here. For the course of the match and also for her pride, it's starting to look ugly for her. But it is break point for the Russian. Too. That's the first slice we've seen from Sharapova as well, but really chopped into that shot, didn't she? And again, the short ball stayed low, exposed the, the, the vulnerability of Sharapova's movement. Very difficult to get back when you're as tall as that. But another miss it from Sharapova, which went in. Yeah. Interesting again, slice forehand. Yeah. Is it the trick? Changing things up a bit. Making her think. Disrupting her rhythm a little. Back she goes into the shade. That's when I can see the wind, when I look at that blue dress billowing there. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Maybe the wind just got up and rushed it at her. She looked like she hadn't got time. Yeah, it was wild. Throws a racket to the ground in disgust. The gruntometer was on full pelt there from Sharapova. The harder you make it for her, the more that grunt gets louder. And there's one or two in the crowd beginning to laugh. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not surprised. <laughs> so break point for her fourth break of the Kostinich serve. And you can see how greedy Sharapova is. Absolutely. She absolutely threw herself at that. She certainly does. I mean, she's, she chases down everything. There she is, back in the shade again. But what a lob. Drop shot, in she comes. So close to the net there. Beautiful lob.
The neutrals in the crowd now really warming to this from Kostinic and really hoping she can get that side of the scoreboard moving. Taking her eight games in 45 minutes. Well, that might settle her. I hope so. Should give her a, a bit of confidence, that's for sure. It's a real setting of the jaw after she won that last point. First double from Sharapova. It's hardly a crisis, but Yuri acts as if it is. Every point she loses is a crisis. Yeah, he uh, he wants her to win everything. Let's hear it for dads on tennis courts, eh? Talking of dad's great <laughs> breakfast reading this morning, and I know you read it too. Dalmir Dokic, Yelena's dad, who has been a thorn in everyone's side, to be honest, but uh, he's back in uh, in uh, Serbia and has said that when Yelena was robbed of her match, she, she had match point against Rosano. Uh, he was so upset he was threatening to put a nuclear bomb on Sydney. Why Sydney? I can't quite make out, but Sydney it is. Messing. She loves those high volleys. It's something that they practice so much at the Boletary Academy where she trains. It's almost like a, a routine for her when she gets that ball in a match. Rarely misses that one. Beautiful. Really confidence in the wind. Yes, uh, Dokic, Dalmi Dokic also said he was going to kill an Australian, although he said that's probably not worth the, the time, and kidnap Yelena. And when Yelena was asked about it, she said, I've had to deal with these distractions all my life. He uh, sounds like he's absolutely crazy, which I think several people have have said before. But the, the nuclear bomb on Sydney, that, that was a first. And did that not have a lot to do with... He, he said that when she lost her first round match in Sydney last week. Right. So Sharapova comes back straight away after the supposed crisis of dropping a game. A set and 2-1. Going to the Vodafone Arena briefly because it's very close there. All. Kostinich on serve. Trading 1 2. After that, love first serve, first set. Good serve, close to the body. Again. Signs are that this set could be a whole lot more competitive. Kostinic seems to be settling down. Sharapova just getting moments of unease.
And a real power behind that forehand. And she's moving so much better. There's a real freedom about her. She is. She's really letting flow now on that forehand side. And interestingly, she's increased her gruntometer significantly, perhaps to match Sharapova. could return. What's your feeling about grunting, seriously? Do you think we should just forget it and let them get on with it? Yeah, I don't think anybody's doing it on purpose. I mean, you certainly notice it when it goes over the top, like Sharapova often does, and like Seles used to. Um, but, you know, there are players who let it put them off. But, you know, you're, you're supposed to be out there and be able to block out all distractions, so I guess maybe you're not concentrating as hard as you should if... Uh, if you're hearing it all the time. She didn't need that. Third double fault on game point. she know it yeah you can always tell by her reaction whether it's been a big point in her mind or not and that one was surely a big point yep, good shot from Kostinich with the wind behind her bunched Sharapova up at the back there Pushed the error into the net. Yes, yeah, rather let herself down there. And Sharapova with the second bite at the cherry. the break and dad signals it but a few now not exactly jeering but they're on her case she's got to be careful otherwise she could become a little bit of a laughing stock here yes you're right when she's on the run it gets louder and louder and I certainly there was noise from the crowd there wasn't there during that rally there was laughter and, and, and it could get more and more difficult for her, especially if this match could get tight. Crowd firmly on Kostinich's side, not just because she's the underdog, but because of this grunting. Little cry of anguish in Croatian there. Great return. Right onto the baseline. Great stats for Sharapova.
well played. And listen to the applause ringing out here for Kostinic. It's the only way the crowd can really express it. But there's a few negative vibes about Sharapova at the moment. I wonder if she's aware of it. Maybe she's so focused she doesn't realize the crowd are almost taking the mickey and may, may do so more and more. And a warning from John Blom for delay of game. It's obviously gone over the 20 seconds allowed. That's terrific tennis. And yet again, for the second point, the slice proving so effective. Yeah, this is what she was trying to do early on, but just wasn't executing well enough. A really low ball, forced Sharapova to really scoop that up. Very solid on the pass cross court. And for the first time, she's got break point, two of them. over it was very likely a winner certainly was she's got to take these chances though she's got to make Sharapova play at the very least Agree with this young lady. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I think she thought it had been called a fault. She does settle herself well after disappointment. She's very, very professional. missed on the forehand which has been her best shot but also has leaked a few points here and there yeah it has That was loud on the ground, Tom, was it? That was the shriekometer that was on that one, yeah. I think. Third successive forehand into the net. Shakes her head in disgust. It's a chance to really turn this match around right here, and it looks as if the chance is gone. history of forehands dumped there no wonder there's a frown etched on her face that could decide the match if ever there was any indecision about it and Sharapova now looks pretty near to home and dry so that's the situation on the, another boiling hot day the hottest day so far temperature moving up to 35 36 degrees centigrade and said so chance of a thunderstorm later on and then another burning hot day tomorrow and the Kostinich here at 1-4 
forehand is gone at the moment. Yeah, I reckon that's about five unforced errors in a row here. Taking her error count up to 23. Sharapova only on 12. She hit those ones better. Got the error out of Sharapova. Really wild backhand there. It's a horror story. After promising so much midway through this set, it's all gone south very, very fast for Yelena. Good serve. She could do with a bit more beef in that serve. Her fastest serve this match has been just over 100 miles an hour. I really don't think she makes as good use of the leftedness as she might. Well done. <laughs> good tactic again, Brock. Sharapova into the net with a short ball. Made her play on the volley. She's not a great volley, volleyer. It's oh, unlucky. <laughs> Back to Juice. Are you trying to boss that point she was? Just missed with the forehand. She wanted in all the space, and again that forehand down the line does the trick. And a chance now for Sharapova to create some insurance. Almost a gentle steer, that one. It certainly was. It was all that was needed. that one. Oh, you can see where she got that fist pump from, can't yep. you? Yeah, absolutely. Didn't come by accident. And she's virtually wrapped this up right now. 5-1. It's been a much more competitive set and uh, not saying it could have swung the other way, but could have been really exciting. But Kostinich's forehand really let her down at a crucial stage. So here's Sharapova then after an hour and five serving for a place in the fourth round. And she still hasn't dropped a set. She may have just come a bit unhinged in that second set against Harkaro, but there's been none of that here. No, not at all. And as you said earlier, she's so professional. And she just, as soon as something doesn't quite go her way, she just lapses back into her routine of preparing herself from the next point and refuses to let it distract her. That forehand cross court into the Kostanich backhand is really paying dividends now. It's really opening the court up and allowing her to then put the next with the short ball away. Two points away from victory.
Yeah, it's merciless. I don't think she's won too many friends here today, and I don't know if Yuri's aware of all the problems that, that this might cause, but I suspect somewhere along the line it's going to work against her. Three match points. A strange, strong reaction, but she's won it 6 love, 6 1, through to the last 16. Clenched fist, pumping of the chest, kisses to the third. Routine victory for Sharapova in tricky conditions, strong wind out here in Rod Laver Arena. But she's handled it well. Very consistent. But can she mix it with the very best next week? We shall see, but she did plenty enough here. Love and one. And she'll play the winner of the night match tonight, and what a match it should be in the form Daniela Hadakova against Serena Williams. So it's really starting to liven up in that top half of the draw, which is where the major contenders are, apart from Kleisters, who is injured. Disappointing for Kostinic. <laughs> Maria, congratulations. You're in great form out there. Very impressive today. How happy are you with that? Yeah, I am. It was the first, uh, you know, first day that it's been really hot like this. Even I was here a week before the tournament started, and it wasn't one hot day like that. But, um, but it's good to, go, to get through these kind of matches, and I'll uh, look forward to the next one. You find the heat difficult? Well, I wouldn't say it's easy, I mean. <laughs> um, if uh, Serena wins tonight, a prospect of the replay of your semi-final yeah. last year, how significant is that match for you? Oh, it'll be great. Um, yeah, I'm, of course, I was disappointed last year, but uh, I know I'll, I'll get the support this year again, and uh, I'm going to get my revenge. 